Welcome back to Satoshi Gaming. Today I want to take you on a tour of my Four Corners farm in Stardew Valley. It is currently the 21st of spring in year three, and I'm playing on Xbox with absolutely no mods at all. This is my horse, Grover, and uh, I have my box here with my things for the Stardew Valley Fair that I use every year. I got a couple of fruit trees growing behind that. I'm currently not married on this playthrough, so there's no area for a marriage candidate outside as of yet. I have some of my seeds up here, a phone, a shipping bin, my workbenches, and where I store my items and furnaces. And this is really like my get stuff done area. So I have everything I kind of need for crafting and uh, storing things and getting ready for planting all in one space. I'm using the shed right now as kind of a whimsy little greenhouse. Um, I haven't finished it yet, so I have plans to do more to this, but right now it's in a pretty rough state. Uh, I have a gourmet statue and some fish and some crops, but not much else going on. If we come down here, uh, I have some plants decorating the fence line, and then over here I have some flowers which I use to grow flavored honey. So I have my beehives and I can walk down the backside to grab them without accidentally pulling up the flowers while I'm collecting. And uh, over here I just have lots of crops, lots and lots of crops. A giant cauliflower grew in the middle here, and um, I wasn't sure if I wanted to remove it or not. <laughs> so I haven't been really trying to grow giant crops on this playthrough, but I kind of liked it just hanging out so I left it. All these trees have tappers on them, and uh, we come down here, I have a well, and then my greenhouse is very centrally located. I'm growing some trees on the left side of the greenhouse, but I haven't finished getting that ready yet. So if we head back up past the trees with the tappers and go towards the northwest corner, this is where I have my barns. So I have my pigs in this first barn, and uh, they're doing some hard work getting truffles for me. I have a mini shipping bin up here, and some oil makers, and some cheese presses, and then I have my goats, and my cows, and the sheep in this other barn next to Grandpa's statue with all four candles lit. This is also where I have my silos on the map. So if we head down here, I have my fish ponds down here where I am harvesting roe and various items. I also have another shipping bin and a little pond here. Um, I also have a bunch of preserve jars where I'm turning my row into aged row, and I just store all my row in this chest right here, so it's kind of all contained in this little area. And then I have a worm bin over here, and on this far side I wasn't sure what to do with this space, so right now I'm using it to grow fiber. And then I have one log for hardwood that naturally grows on the farm below that. We come down to the south west corner. <laughs> um, there's all sorts of fruit trees that I'm growing. I have preserve jars. I'm hoping to get more and more kegs to grow wine and jam. I have more fruit trees lining the area around here and then I have just a ton of crops. So this is like my main crop growing area. I have some beehives I'm starting to put in here on the left hoping to line that whole strip. And uh, so really this is just like crops, crops, crops. <laughs> And uh, I have my seed makers down here so I can get more seeds as I grow stuff too. So if we cut straight across the south end of the farm into the southeast corner, I actually have a slime hutch on this farm and I don't typically do that. It's uh, right above the natural mining area that occurs on this farm type. And inside I'm using it to kind of farm slimes and petrified slime. And uh, some of my slimes got out the other day and I haven't contained them yet, so it's a little dangerous in there. So we're not going to spend long inside. This is my rabbit coop. And so all the rabbits live down here and they have their own little pond and area away from anything dangerous. <laughs> And if we head up above them, we have a chicken coop and a dinosaur coop. And they all hang out together. They're all making eggs, so it felt like it all went together. So I have a ton of mayonnaise machines here to work on all the eggs these guys make. And a shipping bin in the middle so I can easily drop off stuff when my inventory gets full. Over here I have my mill to break... Uh, raw ingredients down. And then I have some more beehives with another bunch of flowers and you can come around this side to plant them. And then you can harvest the bee honey from this side without accidentally ripping the flowers. If we head back towards the middle of the farm, I have this little pathway to my warp statue and my kitty cat, Manabella, and uh, her water bowl's right there. 
not much else going on in that little space. And then I have another shipping bin right here below the greenhouse. And then my little cave is in here. It's mushrooms, nothing to harvest right now. So if we head up here just a little ways, this is kind of a weird little nook I have next to this pond. And I'm using it for all my recycling machines and my junk I fish up from the water. So for these, this farm, the flooring I'm using is weathered wood floors on the main walk paths and brick floors in all the work areas. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe and share it with your friends. And I hope to see you next time. See you later. Bye.